around. Keta Senior High Technical School has 13 points. St. Augustine's College has 24 points. Infant Supreme School has 24 points. In this round, we have the Prudential Life Speed Race. First set of questions, 30 seconds each. A man drives for two hours from Accra to Cape Coast. The car emits an average of 0.11 gram of carbon dioxide per minute. Determine the volume at 27 degrees Celsius and 102 kilopascal of carbon dioxide gas emitted. Yes. Frederick. Um, Six point seven two DMQ. That's incorrect. <laughs> All right. The right answer is two hundred and twenty decimeter cubed. Next one. In a test for a new LPG gas odorant. Containing methane thiol, also called methyl mercaptan, and compound X, methane thiol is found to diffuse 1.25 times faster than X. Calculate the molar mass of X, and the formula for methane thiol is CH3SH. Yes, upon. Fifty, 50 grams per mu. That's incorrect. Yes, David. Seventy-five SF. point zero grams per mu. All right. <laughs> Next one. Diabetic concerned about his sugar intake buys a bottle of fruit juice punch from a batch prepared by mixing 180 centimeter cubed of orange juice containing 15 percent sugar, 450 centimeter cubed of apple juice containing 8.0 percent sugar, and 350 centimeter cubed of pineapple juice containing 22% sugar. What is the percentage concentration of sugar in the fruit mix? The right answer is 14%. 14%. All right. Next set, 10 seconds each. Please explain why it is a misconception or misapplication for the term recommended daily amount, RDA, of food and energy to be taken of food and energy to be taken as an ideal which everyone should try to achieve for a healthy life.
Oh. <laughs> Is that part of the strategy to avoid this type of question? All right. So listen to the answer. Yes, it's a misconception or a misapplication because the RDA value quoted for a particular group is the average requirement for that group that would cover the needs of almost everyone. That's approximately 98% in that group. However, physical activity, age, body weight, and sex may affect how much nutrient a person may need. So taking the RDA values of, a particular, of particular foods may result in an average person overeating and an undernourished person severely undereaten, right? I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right, next one. What are mucous membranes in humans, and why are they often located in regions that interface between the body and the outside world? Yes, Isaac. So mucous membranes are tissue membranes that which are noted for their production of a slimy fluid known as mucus. And they are present in, in, in areas where the body, the interface between the body is, um, the body and then the environment are, um, are interfaced because the mucus is able to trap microorganisms and dust particles which may enter the body and cause invasion and other diseases. And so, the mucous membrane is able to produce the mucus, which is able to trap these substances and prevent them from entering the body, and hence provides um, immunity, uh, it provides um, protection to the person. Okay. Why is it that astronauts can easily lose muscle mass in space? Yes, Alexander. Astronauts can easily lose muscle mass in space. And the reason being, in space, there is no gravity acting on these muscles. That is, the astronaut doesn't have to exert force using or tension with his muscles to counteract the effect of gravity. That's pulling him down for him to be standing and walking. And then muscles gain, gain weight as they are being used more and more. So since he's not using these muscles, the muscles will therefore lose their effects and then will, will, will lose their weight. That's lose their weight. Okay, I'll accept it. It's called atrophy. Atrophy, right? So the muscle will atrophy because it's not being used. All right, next set, 30 seconds. First one. Find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve y equals the expression x plus 1, this expression squared, over x squared. Yes, upon? Negative 1, comma, 0. Yes. Next one. <laughs> Express twenty nine. Okay. Yes, upon. 15 squared minus 14 squared. Yes. <laughs> Next one. 
outer circle is 30 centimeters long. The distance from the center of the circle to the cord is 8 centimeters. Yes, David. 17 centimeters. Yes. Question 30 seconds. What is the magnitude of the linear momentum of an electron moving at 2.40 times 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second? Alexander? One point three seven times ten raised to an exponent of negative twenty one kilogram meter per second. That's incorrect. Uh, yes, Isaac. Four point five six by ten raised to an exponent of negative twenty two kilogram meter per second. That's incorrect. <laughs> the right answer is 1.09 times 10 raised to the power negative 21 kilogram meter per second. 10 seconds. Which of the following particles are baryons, leptons, and mesons? An electron, a lambda particle, a muon, a pion, a proton, and an omega. Yes, Alexander. The leptons are electron and the muon. The baryons are the lambda and the omega and the meson. Let me put on. A proton is part of the baryon, and the meson is a pion. Yes. <laughs> Last question of the round, 10 seconds. Please pay close attention. Please, they need concentration. Twenty twenty four PT five has magnitude twenty two. State the property of twenty twenty four PT five that is measured by its magnitude and rank in increasing order of that property. 2024 PT5, a magnitude 11 object, and Pluto.
on that note, we've come to the end of the second round.